The co-main event of One Fight Night 13, Elizov vs Gregorian, on Prime Video, will see reigning one flyweight submission, grappling world champion Mikey Musumechi defend his belt against strawweight MMA kingpin Jared Brooks in an intriguing matchup of elite ground fighters. Slated to broadcast live in US primetime this Friday, August 4, the intriguing world champion vs world champion showdown pits Musumechi's complex and refined Brazilian jiu-jitsu against Brooks hard-nosed. Physical wrestling and top control. Before the action gets underway at Lumpany Boxing Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand, let's look at the biggest keys to world title victory for each of these American stars. It's no secret that Musumechi loves to attack the most readily available submission, and more often than not, he'll be hunting for late locks from the opening bell. One need look no further than the 27-year-old savage leg-breaking performance against Combat Sambo World Champion Gantumer Bayanduran to understand the raw power of the title holder's leg attacks. It's also no secret that late locks can be the kryptonite for many talented wrestlers. For that reason, Brooks must be hypervigilant during any and all late entanglements, actively working to escape dangerous positions before it's too late. At the same time, he can come into the contest with the confidence of a man who has never once been submitted across 22 professional MMA fights. While his late locks and trademark Mikey Lock might be his most feared weapons, the flyweight submission, Grappling King, would be wise to implement the full array of submissions at his disposal. In his world title defense against Bayanduran, for example, Musumechi was overfixated on securing the late lock, and he was ultimately unable to find a finish. But in his next matchup, he was able to submit fellow BJJ world champion Osama Almaway by switching up his attacks between the legs and upper body. Against Brooks this time around, Duff Rigatoni must be willing to attack submissions from all angles, whether that be with knee snapping leg locks, arm bars, or the same technique he used to dispatch Elmer Way, the rear naked choke. On paper, the MMA superstar should hold an advantage in overall conditioning and physicality. Because he is typically preparing for 15 or 25 minute fights against the planet's top mixed martial artists. The monkey god will come into this 10-minute submission grappling showdown in peak condition. The former Indiana State wrestling champion should press their advantage against Musumechi, who tends to rely more on his technique than athleticism. In practice, that means Brooks will take every opportunity to wear down the BJJ black belt, yanking on his head in the standing position, crushing him with pressure on the canvas, and just generally imposing his wrestling-based physicality. If Musumechi wants to control Brooks and limit his explosive scrambles, he should look to secure the most dominant position in Jiu-Jitsu, back control. Over the course of his decorated BJJ career, the New Jersey native has used advanced techniques like the bearing below and crab right to earn his reputation as the planet's best spectator. Indeed, two of Musumechi's for one championship victories have come via rear naked choke, further solidifying that status. On Friday, he should lean heavily on that skill against a man who will be extremely difficult to submit.